In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way you can set up N8N on your computer for free using Docker. It's a no complex setup. There's no dependencies. This will just get you a working N8N instance ready to go. To do that, we'll be using, and this will work regardless of whether you're on Mac or PC or Linux or whatever. All you need is Docker desktop and you're ready to go. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. Go to docker.com slash products slash docker desktop and go ahead and download Docker desktop. Just make sure you're downloading for the correct operating system. I'm using a Mac Silicon. Once you've downloaded Docker desktop, just go ahead, drag this. If you're on a Mac, just go ahead and drag this into applications. If you're on Windows, just run the installer, follow all the steps. The default steps are fine. And once everything is set up, you should have Docker installed, which is this little whale icon over here. So I have Docker desktop set up already. This is on the personal free plan. And I've already got a NNN container, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the containers uh, and delete the volumes that I have set up as well. So I'll show you how we can do a fresh installation. So you can do this from the command line if you're comfortable, and if you're not comfortable, you can keep the command line steps to a minimum. First off, head into your Finder or your Windows Explorer and go ahead and create a folder. So I have created a folder on my desktop called n8n-docker. In this folder, we need to create a file which contains instructions for uh, where to get the Docker image, what ports to set it up on, and basic configuration for n8n. So open your favorite text editor. If you're on Windows, just use Notepad. If you're on Mac, you can use something like Sublime Text. So here is the contents of the file. You can go ahead and copy from here if you want, or if you want a ready-to-use file that you can just download, uh, just go ahead and click the link in the description. You're gonna go ahead and save this file into that folder that you had made earlier, and we're gonna call it docker-compose.yml, and make sure you have the extension correct. It's .yml. Go ahead and hit save. Now that that's done, we can now exit this folder. And now we need to open the terminal. In the terminal, I'm gonna to navigate to the folder. So my folder is on the desktop, so I'm gonna type in cd desktop slash n8n dash docker. Now that I'm in the folder, I am going to run docker compose up dash d. If you're doing this for the first time, it's going to download all the dependent files and then go ahead and start up the container. But since I've already had it running, uh, all you need to see is the container NADN started. And if we go back into Docker desktop, we'll see that we now have a new volume. And if you go into containers, we also have a new container. If we click this link over here, we can now access NADN and set up our account and everything as you would if you were doing it online. So there it is, NADN running locally with zero hassle. Now, if you wanted to stop running NADN, you can go back into your terminal and type in docker compose down, or you can simply go back into Docker desktop and just go ahead and click the stop button over here, and this will power down the container. So now if I hit refresh, it's not going to work anymore. If I come back into Docker desktop and start up the container again, and just hit refresh one more time, we'll see that NADN is working again. Now this method also makes it really easy to update your NADN instance whenever there is an update available. So let's go back into the terminal. And once you're back in the NADN-Docker folder that we made, just write, docker compose pull and uh, click allow if, if it asks for permissions and it's just gonna go ahead and download the latest version of NADN. Now since I already have it, it happened fairly quickly, but if you were on a earlier version, it would just take a little bit more time. Once you've pulled your uh, NADN container, just power the container down. So docker compose down it's going to stop the container and then start it again, docker compose up dash D. And now we have NADN starting again. Just go ahead and hit refresh here and we'll see that NADN is indeed working. So there it is, fairly quick, fairly easy, fairly simple, and most importantly, completely free. 
Docker will eliminate all these setup headaches and it will get you to start building your automations in minutes instead of hours. If you found this tutorial helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and do remember to subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation content.